Hello out there in healthcare world. We are here, Doug Grant and Dr. John Brimhall was speaking at the time and, and Clark Tilly to bring you an amazing webinar tonight and talk to you about upcoming things that are happening. So we are sponsored by Optimal Health Systems, which I believe is the best nutrition in the world. For two reasons. Uh, one, it's all organic whole food that's non-GMO, and then you take it and we bathe it in a, a protein that people say, how do you, how do you pre-digest it? Well, protein digesting enzymes, oh, well, proteins, fats, and carbohydrates, all with plant enzymes that break it down to the smallest constituents. So it literally is organic whole food pre-digested, extremely high potency, but the absorption is up to 300% better. So no matter what products I have developed through the years, and I have then over 300, I mean over 200 now, but this is the best of, of the best that I have done because of the pre-digestion and it is all whole food. So there's no synthetics in here and there's nothing that the body can't utilize because it's already there, we're ready to go to work. We're, we're going to talk tonight about some new products that we have added and uh, CLA is one of the newest. OptiBrain was just brought out in the last couple of months. Uh, stem cell nutrition called OptiStem is also new. All right, well, thanks Dr. John. And I'm excited to be here. As Dr. John mentioned, we're gearing up for uh, the big homecoming event. And, you know, uh, we've been to a lot of seminars over decades. Uh, all of you, you know, sure been to Florida Chiropractic Association, the Parker Seminars, CalGEM, all these great places, which are great and encourage everyone to go to as chiropractors. But, you know, it's another thing to have a specialized homecoming seminar expo if you would where it's very specific very specific to your clinic and your needs and and you don't have to like oh should I do this should I do that and but the research has been done and they're there to help you so that when you leave you can quickly just the next week put things into practice to start building your practice to a new level no matter what where, where it's at so this is a specialized seminar that we love and and after going to all of them all over the place uh, we really enjoy this so we uh, highly encourage everyone to do that to come see us. In fact, on this subject that we're talking about tonight, uh, we don't have time to go into some of the details that we'll be able to go into at the seminar that will really open your eyes to the research as to why some research studies show one thing and others another. So you'll be able to decipher between the two to know what's best for you, for your family, for your patients. And so we're very excited about that. Tonight we're going to be talking about the most talked about problem in the world today, according to the CDC, um, that leads to the most diseases. We're going to talk about why people have a hard time improving their health and fix this problem, and what you can do as a health professional, or even as a patient, or some in the public, to fix the problem. And uh, it comes down to a few factors that we'll talk about, but let's, let's take a look at it real quick. The latest statistics. Okay, so we're talking most recent show from the Center for Disease Control and it's backed up by World Health Organization and many others that one out of every three people in the United States are obese. One out of three. Not one out of three are overweight. Not one out of three have an extra few pounds. One out of three people are obese. Obese. And if you take a look at the research on obesity and what it does, and the cost to the healthcare system, the cost to the human body, to the years taken off your life, to the quality of your life that you can have, it's absolutely positively one of the things that we should focus on. And I think many times, especially in practices, we don't focus on it. We're afraid we're going to hurt someone's feelings. They come in because they have a low back problem or a neck problem or are not feeling well. And we try to pinpoint a specific area, a specific uh, spinal adjustment and things that we need to do, which is important, but we overlook the elephant in the room by saying, not saying, you know, all of these things that we're working on will work better if we lose some body fat. We get our body in its right uh, body mass index, that we're able to get our fat to muscle ratio better and stronger. And as health professionals, it's your job to let people know. If they come in and they have kyphosis and are over, you're going to tell them why they have that and what they need to do to fix it. If they have scoliosis, you'll tell them they have it and what they do to fix it. But yet, many times we don't tell people 
because we have to do it, find a nice way to do it, but we don't tell people, hey, really, for your health, we need to find a way to help you lose some body fat. And, uh, but it's critical, and I think that's one of the areas that we need to really get past the hurdles. What's interesting is the statistics for America is one in three are obese, but when you look at the statistics in doctors' clinics, in other words, your patients, your patient base is as high as two out of three are obese. So in other words, the people that are coming to doctors, holistic or even allopathic, that the higher number of those patients are obese than the overall number in the United States, which tells you something. It tells you that uh, obviously, not even if you didn't have the statistics, which we do have, but that the more overweight a person is, the bigger chance of them getting disease, the bigger chance of them having a lower quality of life, to have aches and pains, to have subluxations, and so on. So we know that they need to be given options to reduce body fat that because we're not you know truly treating the whole body and cause the disease unless we do but the key is we have to give options because not every person is in the same mental state as another in other words it usually comes down to the mental state it's like if someone smokes for years and then they quit and people say well why did you quit well one day i decided to mentally decided to and they did and so we have to take a look at the mental aspect of it with patients to see where they are at in their journey to help them to reduce body fat and to get going. And that's one of the great things we're going to talk about tonight. So what does it take to help your patients reduce body fat? Well, for 25 years, we've been doing it with doctors, doctors, patients, along with Dr. Brimhall, with ourselves, with professional athletes, with Olympic athletes, with just the public. And so we've really got into the psychology of body fat reduction, what it takes, what works, what doesn't work, what works short term but not long term. And we know what the situation is. It takes understanding that every person is in a different place mentally. It takes different options based on the patient. And the neat thing is that quick, quick help is possible if the patient will make a few simple changes. And that's the thing that's so important. I have found over the years of consulting literally thousands and thousands of people that it comes down to let's have you start with these changes. Tell them what they are that you're wanting get their commitment, and then go from there. And depending on people's attitude, their mental uh, motivation at the time, will determine which things I tell them I want them to do. If an athlete or someone comes in that's just fed up with things and they're like ready to get in shape, I know I can throw the book at them. You're going to be at the personal training and nutritionist online. Here's your program. You're going to take these supplements. You're going to eat this eating plan, and I know they're going to follow it. When others are just not there. And so we will help you find out what you should recommend and when to get long-term consistent results. And that's really the key. The eating plans, programs, all these things are available through Optimal Health Systems, either for free or through purchasing that then you get the benefit in your clinic. So you can help your patients no matter what their needs are. To, to make it real easy before I get into the research, this is what we usually do with a patient that has the low mental motivation at the time. A person came in just the other day, and I sat down, and I could see that their health was making it so that they need to lose weight, but they weren't as committed as they should be. So I said, what I do with all of the people that are at that point, let's cut out fried foods. No matter what your activity level is, one man said, I work all day, so I'm already getting my exercise in, you know, and the wife didn't work uh, very much. And I said, I don't care, both of you. No matter what you're doing, on top of what you're doing, walk briskly 15 minutes a day on top of everything. Then we have them cut out sodas, only drink mainly water for 12 weeks, and have them take one specific nutrient we're going to talk about tonight. That little plan that you can basically put on every single person can guarantee fat loss so that they start getting motivated, then they can go to the next level. That's simple. So if you take it, don't take anything from this talk tonight, follow those four steps uh, with patients that you know just need that first little step and they'll start getting results today. And we'll talk about that nutrient. What is it to help reduce body fat? Well, for the first time ever, as Dr. Brimwell said, we finally came out and said, you know what, there's enough research. We've, we've scoured, we've watched this for years and years. In fact, it was just a year, year and a half ago that Dr. Brimhall was talking about it and we were going back and forth and had been watching this nutrient. And it wasn't until some new studies came out that we finally pulled the trigger on it and made sure that this nutrient called conjugated linoleic acid was in the right form to be able to bring out to the doctors and their patients. Because as you'll see, 
that it's not just this nutrient called CLA, it is the form this nutrient's in that makes a difference in the studies. So you hear a lot of hype out there, you're going to hear a lot more, especially with the latest going on with uh, CLA, uh, from the Kardashians taking it and reducing their body fat dramatically to uh, Gwen Stefani and uh, Blake Shelton, you know, it's just all over the place. They're all saying, well, what are you doing different? Well, I'm taking CLA. And so it's going crazy, and it is important for doctors to understand that, um, but it's important also to explain why your patients need to be on a specific form and not just go buy any CLA. But if you're, you're not watching the shows and looking at the news lately, uh, it's important for me to put these little pics up just so you can see that this is really serious, that people are catching on to what this nutrient can do. But part of the problem is, is that a lot of times because it's so hypey, comp hypey companies are getting involved that aren't giving good products and not giving good uh, research as to how to take it, when, and so on. So it's going to get a bad rap in some circles, but yet based on the research studies, we know it can work. And one of the reasons that CLA works so well, and I'll get into its mechanisms of, of, of exactly how it works at a chemistry level, but one of the great things about it is that the research shows that it's not just helping reduce body fat, but it's helping people increase or at least maintain lean body mass. That's huge because that makes it so that long term you're able to increase your metabolism, your metabolic rate, since muscle burns more than more calories than fat. A pound of fat burns about three to five calories, a pound of muscle can burn up to 100 calories a day. So we want more lean muscle so we can eat more food and keep the fat off. And that's one interesting thing about this nutrient that surprised me because it's not known as normally an anabolic nutrient like creatine or some of the other nutrients we use. But yet it not only helped to reduce body fat, but it also helped to be able to retain muscle. Um, here's one of the big ads that's in major, major magazines out there today talking about safflower oil, which is basically how we come up with the CLA uh, today and the formulas, and I'll talk more about it. But it's the richest source of linoleic acid available, and that's one of the reasons that you use it, is it helps encourage the body to produce lean mass at the same time we're reducing body fat. Um, muscle and fitness for women, um, some of these major, major magazines that are out there, um, Oxygen, uh, Women's Health, they're all coming out with just big old articles on CLA. Well, this will be in the next issue. CLA helps you fight fat and make muscle, boost your energy. Um, it promotes better health. It's natural. It encourages higher metabolism and so on. And this isn't even on a product. It's just on CLA. And so your patients are going to get bombarded with this information over the next few months if they haven't already. Um, you pretty much can't watch a show uh, today without them talking about it or you know coming to what is this thing called CLA? Is it real? Some people say yes, yeah, some people say no. Well, I'm going to cut through that with you tonight so you can see the research on this uh, really specific nutrient. So let's look at the what CLA has been proven to do clinically. It's been proven to boost energy and mainly through the metabolism of fat so that then that fat's used as energy. It's rich in antioxidants. Uh, it eliminates toxins that have been built up and helps regulate the metabolism. So we know that it's, it's, it's working in a different pathway than normal fatty acids, and I'll show you why in just a second, but I don't want it to be confused with essential fatty acids um, that are out there like DHA, EPA, and that we use like with our optimal EFA formula or people that do fish oils, things like that. Completely different fatty acid, completely different mechanism operation in the body. It's very important to know that, that this, this is a different ballgame with this nutrient. So I want to explain and get a little technical for a few minutes because it is so, uh, the media is going to be so proliferated and already is with this, that it's very important as health professionals you understand what conjugated linoleic acid is, where it needs to come from, so that your patients and yourself don't get caught up in the hype and take something don't get the results and all of a sudden now say, you know what, all that hype out there was just hype. There's no truth to it. And uh, it's very important that you understand this process. So the word conjugated has to do with the arrangement of the double bonds in the fatty acid molecule. So if we break conjugated linoleic acid down, um, I try to do it here and make it, make it real simple for us to understand so we can stick more with what it does versus getting too deep into the chemistries of it. But 
technically what you do is when you have a fatty acid, a carbon chain, you look to see um, where the double bonds are. You know, if it's at the third level, it's an omega-3, at the six, omega-6, and so on. It's kind of simple to understand that way. But when we're talking about CLA, it's a different animal. What happens is, is we have different bonds at different parts, but we have a cis bond and a trans bond, and so you'd say, gosh, this looks like a trans fat. Well, it is a trans fat, but what a lot of people don't understand is that trans fats that come out of the environment um, are extremely damaging to the body, but the body actually has trans fats that it gets uh, from food uh, that is extremely beneficial uh, to the body. So. Uh, not all trans fats are bad. That's why uh, we all need to vote against the legislation to ban all trans fats, as people don't understand. I mean, if you just look at the, the literature, uh, it depends on what type it is, whether it's healthy or not for the body. And uh, CLA is a very specific trans fat, and there's two of them that are important, two of the CLA forms to where the cis and the trans um, junctures, if you would, or the double bonds are at different places. So there's two different types of CLA, and that's important to understand because the research shows that both of them combined together creates the best results in the body, not just one of them. And so we'll, we'll get to that. But I want you to see exactly what we're talking about there. I hope it makes sense a little bit to you. Let me just explain one more time that, that CLA contains both the cis, the C, and the trans double bonds. So when you see that number on there, like uh, T10 and C12, they have to do with the placement of these bonds on the fatty acid chain. The difference between the CLA forms is that the double bonds, as you can see there, are arranged differently. It's important to keep that in mind. Although it's a minuscule difference, it makes a huge difference in the body when we're talking about metabolizing the fats. So it's a type of polyunsaturated fatty acid with both bonds, but it's the natural form of the trans fat. So if you just look at the literature and pull up Medline and, and do a PubMed search, you can see that industrial trans fats are harmful, but you'll also see many studies showing that when it's naturally found in foods, that it's extremely beneficial to the body. So it's important to, to, for everyone to understand that. Um, there are some studies I just want to go over with you real quick so you can see why uh, everyone's talking about this. Uh, it's really exciting to see it. Um, this is one double-blind study that was uh, performed, human study, important to understand, Journal of International Medical Research. Uh, it was a smaller study, but it was a great one. There's 20 people at 12 weeks were able to reduce the body fat 20%, and they took around 3.4 to 4.2 uh, grams of CLA a day for 12 weeks, and that's important for you to look at, doctors, as we come back to it, is what was used in the studies and how much was used in the studies. So on the left, we saw that the percent body fat before, and then over to the right, that the control group actually with, that took the CLA reduced the body fat, and the placebo group did not. So that was one of the interesting studies. Another double-blind placebo-controlled human study um, was done with some Swedish researchers. They lost 400% more fat than the placebo group over and over again. It was over a 12-week period. Again, the second factor I want you to look at is not just how much is taken per day, but how long. And so this group had the same nutrition and training regimens, so they were able to take that out of it and say, okay, here's the only difference was the CLA, and that they were able to reduce 400% uh, more body fat. You see pounds of fat loss 5 to 20. So it was a great study done there, and you can look that up. Um, you'll see that we also have paid really close attention to the studies of the amount of CLA needed. So if you take a look at this graph and look at the blue line of 3.4, have they lost more body fat, but if you took too much, you actually, the, it came down, you didn't lose as much body fat. So we know that there are specific amounts that is needed to be taken in order to get the ultimate benefit. Uh, another study that was done that was very exciting. It was, an, it was announced at an obesity conference where they actually presented the study that showed that taking uh, 3.4 grams of CLA today, they had a 9% decrease in fat mass, 2% increase in lean muscle mass, which is a great research study. Another one out of Barcelona uh, showed that the body fat, so if when you measure the 100% of the body fat, so let's say a person loses 10 pounds of body fat, okay? that 78% of that actually came off in the belly region. And that's really exciting to those of us in the industry because 
there's no been no such thing as spot reduction, and there still isn't. Like you don't do ab exercises to reduce body fat in the abs. Uh, your body fat where it comes on first, usually it comes off off last. That's just the way the body works, and it, it works holistically. But what's interesting in this study is it was like that the conjugated acid knew and the body knows that the most damaging place for body fat is in the stomach because of its effects on hormones in the body and so that's the area that came off the most and that was that was really really intriguing to me uh, to see that, that that it wasn't just evenly over all the body that it was mainly from body fat and so I could go on and on so that, that with the studies but I really really wanted you uh, to see that the research studies out there are strong and the research is very good on it. Now I could also bring up some studies to show well they didn't get this benefit, they didn't do this or this. And in those studies that show there was no benefit of CLA, it was because they either weren't taking the right dosage for a right period of time or they weren't taking the right form of CLA. And that's really an important part here because the studies that went for 12 weeks and had anywhere between about three and a half to four and a half grams of CLA a day, they got good results. They are great results when they actually made sure that both of the CLA forms, the ones with the C9 and T11 and T10, C12 were, were combined. So can you get CLA from your food? Sure. But in order to get three to four grams a day like it shows in the studies, you'd have to have 24 pounds of beef or 50 pounds of cheese. 10 sticks of butter and so on and so forth, you can see that it really, the damaging effects eating that much food would, would far outweigh the benefits. So since you can't really get enough from dairy foods and meat and those types of things, where do you get it from? And how are supplements made? How is the supplements that are on the market today made? Where do they come from? And that's where you see the safflower oil comments is that yes, it comes from safflower oil and it's produced from linoleic acid because of the high amounts in the safflower oil, but it's the process of converting the linoleic acid into conjugated linoleic acid is the key. And if that process is not done right, because it has to be converted, then there is a problem. It has to be done gently, it has to have the right pH balance, it's an enzymatic process to make this happen. And that's really where we come in because we've been in the business of enzymatic processes for over 25 years. I was the early 1990s, I think, with Dr. Brimhall that we sat down, we're going over enzymes and probiotics and no one even knew what the names were and what they were and the importance of them. And so the enzymatic process we've evaluated uh, extensively to make sure that the process is done right with the, the CLA that we use. And that's what makes it so much more powerful than other formulas on the market. So the conversion process is the key and must be done properly as it mentioned so that it will make it powerful. Now, let's take a look again, and I will shy away from heavy duty research after this and get into a few more things, uh, doctors, but I really wanted to make this point because it's so important. There's so much hype and junk out there today, and you're gonna hear good and bad on this nutrient, that if you just understand the basis, uh, basics of it, you'll be able to see why it's important if you use it right and you use the right form. Not all CLAs are created equal. Different CLA conjugate acids are named based on where, as I mentioned, the cis and trans bonds are on this chain. It's an 18 carbon chain. Um, and so if you have them at C9 and T11, that's one form. And then you can also have them at T10 and C12. It's a different form, as I mentioned. And so you're like, well, you know, what, what's the difference and what's the importance of it? Well, there's a great study. There's a few of them, but this is one that you can look up if you'd like. Uh, where they actually took a placebo group, they took one group with uh, one of the conjugalic acids, another with another, and then a group with them combined to see if it made a difference in body fat loss. And this one they actually did with postmenopausal women, uh, where there was just a huge, uh, you know, problem obesity-wise on hormone imbalance issues and so on and so forth. And so they took this group, and what they found was that the mixed CLA group, the one that made sure they had both of those CLAs in it, um, had less total body fat, 4% less lower body fat, and so 7% lean body mass compared to the control and even the C9, T11 CLA group. In other words, the, the more than the placebo group and more than just the group that had the one form of CLA in it. 
So we know that the form of CLA that is critical, we know how it, it's processed is critical. You can just get safflower oil and put in supplements and say it's a, you know, a CLA supplement when in reality it's a safflower supplement and not, not so much the CLA because it has to go through an enzymatic process and people say, well, I don't get great results. Well, you're just taking safflower oil, but you're not taking CLA and that's really important. And the, as I mentioned to you, it's how much, how long, and the right type. And that's where lipoline CLA comes in, is we made sure that we covered all the bases to make it super simple for your patients. We put enough capsules uh, in the bottle to last 12 weeks, and that's taking four grams a day. So the patient doesn't have to buy a whole bunch of different bottles and things. It's like, here's one bottle. Be honest. Take four grams a day. We tell people to put it next to their bed. Wake up in the morning, take two capsules. When you go to bed at night, take two more. That's your four grams. Uh, I formulated so that it would be one gram per capsule. So it's really simple to dose. So we're dosing at four grams of CLA a day, two morning, two night. And so your patients are able to do it. It's very important that they stay consistent. If they miss two or three days, it's going to have to start over. They'll still get benefit, but you get the compound effect um, if you stick with it consistently versus you know having to start over again. And... Uh, if you guys have read a book called The Compound Effect by Darren Hardy, I highly recommend it. It's not nutritional. It's just the compound effect of life, and it's a great, great book. But the same thing happens metabolically, that if you take it consistently, just like with exercise and nutrition, there comes a time when you're pumping that well, and it just starts pouring out, and the benefits are you know, synergistic. They just are greater than just the individual act. So what does CLA do? It helps prevent fat from being deposited in the cells by speeding up body fat metabolism. It helps the body metabolize existing fats and returns to the bloodstream where it's used as energy by the muscle cells. And you'll lose inches in the right places and drop clothing size because you're able to metabolize fat at a higher level. So it's important for the patient not to take CLA and then all of a sudden make their diet worse because they think, oh, I'm taking something to reduce body fat. At a minimum, they need to keep doing exactly what they're doing, not anything worse. But if they'll follow the four basic steps that I mentioned before, to have them make the changes to the diet, to get off fried foods and sodas, start exercising, even brisk walk 20 minutes a day on top of whatever they're doing, and take the four CLA capsules or four grams a day, they're going to get results. So when we're talking about the steps for a patient and their mentality, um, if they're not at least willing to cut out fried foods and sodas, walk a little bit each day and take the capsules, they're not ready to make a change and they truly don't want to lose body fat. It's up to us as health professionals to make them realize, look, this is harming your quality of life. It will take years off your life if you don't fix the problem. And here's a simple way to start. Motivation, you can, you're guaranteed you're going to lose body fat percentage if you follow these basic principles. And then... After they start doing that and they get some results, you can say, okay, now as your doctor, I'd like you to have a personal trainer nutritionist. And they're like, well, I can't afford that. I can't afford to get a personal trainer nutritionist. We got it, but that's what we're here for. We're, we're here to, as doctors, to be able to let the patients know that they can have a personal trainer nutritionist in their pocket. They can have us. Those of us that have trained, you know, we've trained over 50,000 training sessions, one-on-one, -on -one, in gyms in homes, online, and we can help your patients. But it's basically your program. You're saying, patient, I have a program, which is us, and you put them on it. And uh, the patient goes on the program. We work with them. We customize their nutrition. If you want them on a specific diet, you want them on a keto diet or anything you want, you tell us. If not, we'll just put them on the program that, based on doing a consult with them they need, <clears throat> and we get them going. And you, as doctors, receive the benefit for referring the patient, plus we keep you up to speed on how the patient's doing. So now they're coming in for their work with you, whether it be the adjustments and the different work that you do that Dr. Brimhall was mentioning. And then they also are on a program outside of your office, work on their nutrition and their exercise, so things you do work better, they improve their quality of life, you benefit from it um, by putting them on the program, we keep you informed of how they're doing. Basically, you're the, their professional trainer or nutritionist. You just have us do the work. And so it's a great program, but not everyone's ready for it immediately. For the ones that are, the ones like I talked about, and they come in and you know they're ready, boom, I'm going to set you up on this. I'm going to put you on the CLA formula, lipoline, 
and whatever other nutrition you, you need them on, and then we take it from there. So the key is, is that there are steps, and every single patient, every single patient in your office, doctor, can benefit from reducing body fat. And so what we want to do is provide a simple process to do that. If the patient says, great, I'll take the CLA, is there any eating plans or anything I can do? If you don't have one, you get a hold of our office, we'll send you out some just free to hand to them of, of healthy diet, eating menus, whatever it might be. If you already have them on a plan, no matter what it is, if you're hooked up with uh, different companies or different things on different types of plans that are out there, put them on that and have them start the CLA. I know Dr. Brimhall is real big on the keto diet. Well, I just saw the other day some people talking about CLA and being on that diet and the benefits because of the fatty metabolism. Um, the athletes like we have that are on the you know the higher carb you know fruit vegetable grain type protocols love it. They get the same benefits. So no matter what eating plan you have them on or you even want us to put them on, we can put them on for free. They can have a certified nutritionist do it. Whether it's from your clinic, the CLA can help benefit them. But what I'd love everyone to take from this webinar tonight before I turn it back over to Dr. Brimhall to talk a little bit more is to take this home that two out of every three patients that come in your clinics at a minimum one out of three if you take the national uh, results from CDC need help to reduce body fat they need help and the problem is you, where they're at mentally and what they will commit to getting rid of a few foods that they know they shouldn't be taking drinking more water getting off the junk drinks and taking CLA with a little movement each day, that's something everyone should commit to because you can guarantee them they're going to reduce body fat and improve their quality of life. For the ones that are past that, that they're training already or you know they're ready to, we can help them too, all the way up to the professional athletes. Um, right before I got on this call tonight, we were talking to Miami Heat and putting some programs in place for them for the new year. So whether it's a patient so that really need it, that are barely able to get around to the high-level athletes, uh, doctors, you now have programs that, that you can use to help them. So I'd like you just to commit to every patient that needs it, get out of your comfort zone, let them know that they will benefit from reducing body fat. And this is a very simple way to do it. Um, just to let you know, there's a 25%, which is crazy, it won't be long, discount on the formula for you to try with patients uh, for going on for just a few more days. So make sure you call the office, the 1-800 number, 890-4547. And Steve and Eddie and them will, will take care of you and help get you ready and set up uh, for your patients to help them reach those goals. So, Dr. John, did you want to comment on the CLA or, or anything along that lines as we're speaking? Absolutely. You know, I've been in this 48 years now, and sometimes, particularly when, when people have heard me lecture, they, and Doug is as bad as I am, it's like drinking from a fire hose. We, we've studied this so long, we eat, sleep, and drink it, that we want to give everything at one time. And the nice thing about what we're showing you tonight is, this is simple. Anybody can do this. You take two capsules in the morning and two capsules at night, which is four grams. 3.4 to four grams does it. He says tonight, and several times, I want you to understand this, every person could benefit from CLA because every person can benefit from having a little more lean muscle mass and less fat. And this is one of the few products that is so simple to do. And if you don't want to just go out fried food and walk for 15 minutes, then you aren't serious at all. But most people now are starting to understand how serious the condition is of obesity. And uh, you, you just go out to eat or go to a grocery store, it makes you cringe. How in the world do these people pack this around? Just to take a 20 pound weight and put it in your backpack and see what that's like. And many of these people we're seeing are 50, 100 pounds overweight. Great. Uh, you, you talk about uh, this is a 12 week program. Uh, is this like a one time shot of 12 weeks or uh, is this uh, you can go back on it after a period of time? Uh, talk about what the long term kind of program is. Well, this is Doug. Um, me and Dr. John were talking about that uh, the other day because the studies were really interesting on it. Um, the studies show that you need to be on it, you know, three months, 12 weeks to get the results. But the long-term studies that have been done now show that there's a consistent fat loss uh, very consistently for the first six months. And then it slows down a bit. So 
The question is whether people should cycle off of it for a couple of weeks and then get back on it. And uh, I kind of like that concept. There was no reason not to to not stay on it as far as problems, but um, I think that makes sense to let the body reset and then get back. So basically, two bottles worth, or you know, six months, and then taking a few weeks off is is what uh, we're feeling and seeing uh, can be the most beneficial. But again, it's not like it's something that has to be rotated off or or done in a cycle. Yeah, there's no side effect to this at all, and it's just like anything else. Sometimes you give the body a little rest, and when you come back, it, it understands more, it can do more. But this is a, a great product, probably the best that has ever been discovered. But it's the key is that Doug found it takes both times together, and it's the 12-week period, and the 3.4 to 4 grams gave the optimal results. That's why we call it optimal health system. <laughs> Does pairing the fat sugar trim product added to the CLA have um, additional benefit? That's a good question, and uh, the answer is yes, but you got to understand why. Because the fat sugar trim formula is developed, and as, as Dr. Brimhall attests to, really helps with fat reduction from a different level, from a balancing the blood sugar, as we know is important with insulin for keeping the body, to, uh, reduce body fat and not store more fat, especially in the liver. And also the fat sugar formula has a lot of an enzyme called lipase that digests fat that helps you break down the fats that you consume and that. So it's a different process from metabolizing almost an oxidation of the fats that the CLA does versus the digestion and working on the blood sugar level. So it can be a great synergistic formula. You're not doubling up if you would on the same pathways, two separate pathways. So if a person is going to go, you know, every way which way they could to get the most benefit, uh, that's a great question because you would take the fat sugar trim formula between meals and then you know the the lipoline CLA morning and night. Uh, it's a great way to look at it from improving fat digestion and also metabolizing fat. That was what what the CLA formula does. <laughs>